Hi there, it's Rachel from Let's Get Crafty and today's project we're going to make this cute little card, scalloped card and envelope from the Wild Card Cricut cartridge using the Baby Bug. Thanks for joining me and let's get we started. We're going to be using the Wild Card cartridge and we are going to be actually doing the very first project in the book. It is called the Scallop um, card and envelope found on page 32 and the reason why I was attracted to this card because um, everybody's wild on the message boards about the uh, Martha punches and I thought this kind of gave a Martha um, Martha Stewart punch feel with the card and I just like how that detail is matched with both the envelope and the card Okay, so as you can see, we are here at my baby bug. Um, the wild cartridge is in there. Uh, pressure is at five. Uh, blade depth, uh, speed is at two, and blade depth is at four. Um, we're going to make the envelope first. The scalloped edges and the little flowers are reminiscent of the. Uh, Martha Stewart corner punches so that's what I was attracted to with this particular envelope um, I have no idea what size this is going to cut at so in order to find out we're going to hit the shift key to do the envelope first always start with the envelope first so you can make the corresponding card um, I'm going to hit the first key here so it says scallop S that means we're going to cut the envelope right now I have the size at four and a half I'm going to press cut it beeps too big, move it to four, too big, move it to three and a half, too big, move it to three, too big, cut it at two and a half. So this is going to probably be a really teeny little envelope. Let's have a look and see how it turns out. Okay, so the envelope has been all cut out. I'm just going to carefully uh, peel it off here to see what size it ends up being at. So just a uh, little envelope okay so uh, we'll make the corresponding card now okay so I've loaded in the the pumpkin colored cardstock and I'm going to make the matching envelope I'm sorry the matching card so I keep it at two and a half that ensures that it's going to cut out at the right size press the scallop card and press cut so the card has been completed so we're going to just push unload and let's pull it out and there's the size of our card so uh, let's make a few embellishments and put this cute card together so here's what the finished um, card looks like cut out at two and a half inches to match and correspond with the matching envelope I've just gone ahead and I'm just poking out the little extra holes here um, that haven't quite come off so I'm just going to clean all that up and then use this, the scoring card so you can see the score lines are right here and here so I'm going to go ahead and use my Cricut ruler and my bone folder to score this accordingly Okay, so that's what the card looks like. I guess you could have it going up and down this way, or you could have it this way. Um, so now I can go ahead and decide what embellishments I'm going to use. Today's project is also going to feature this cute little tree. Um, it's found on page 38. It's uh, the booklet icon feature. So we'll be cutting that out at two inches pressing down on the real dial size button. So I've gone ahead and cut out a tree. I wanted to show you my little hiccup. This was the, the tree found on page 28. Um, this is cut at two inches without the real dial size selected. 
and this one, which is the one I'm using, is cut out at um, two inches with the real dial size selected and that just fits um, on there perfectly. Then I've gone ahead and used um, this little bird clear stamp, I think it's Hero Arts, that I'm going to color and cut out and then I have this little stamp that I'm going to put on right now. that says a little birdie told me. I'm just going to put that right down at the bottom. There you go. A little bit crooked, but that's okay. So I've gone ahead and colored this little bird and put a dimensional on there. I had to cut it in half just so that it would fit. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the tree just like so. I cut the legs off because I thought what I could do is just put little lines on with a pen. So I'm going to just take this little pen and underneath draw legs so it looks like it's perched onto the tree. Just makes it look a little more realistic. Um, so we have a little bird told me there and because of that inking mistake we need need to find something to cover up with that. Maybe I'll put a little bird. So I figured out a way to have this enclosed. Um, what I'm going to do is just put this brad uh, closed here on this this side. As you can see I've already put one through actually completely through on that side. You do see it there. And then I'm going to take this miscellaneous loosen this up here. I'm going to take this miscellaneous embroidery thread and I'm going to tie it around the brad. A little bit fumbly. Tie it. Now close the embroider. And then I'm going to just trim this on this side so you don't see it and I should be able to loosen this one up just a little bit so that there's space and you should be able to now wrap it around just like that. Okay, so there's the, the outside of the card. Now I'm just trying to figure out a message. I'm going to think I'm just going to make it into a happy So one. I'm going to choose this thank you stamp from my Studio G stamp collection. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Stays On Timber Brown ink same one that I used for the birds and the little birdie told me at the front. I'm going to just put thank you in the middle like that and then I could write the message that I want to the person just here, their name. And uh, there you have it. There's the card for the person I'm potentially we'll give this to and now let's just make the matching envelope. So here's the envelope here. I'm just going to go ahead and take the score lines and use my ruler and my bone folder. Just line everything up. Go ahead and score. and there's the envelope and the matching card and this would be a nice thing to add with a bunch of flowers or just as a little gift card into somebody's box thank you so much for joining to me joining me today and happy crafting